Israel has announced its plans to build over a thousand new homes in the occupied West Bank. That's despite international opposition to Tel Aviv settlement policies, which most countries consider illegal under international law. For more on this, I'm now joined by Jeff Halper, the head of the Israeli Committee Against House Demolitions. It's good to see you today, sir. Thanks for coming on the program. Indeed, uh, the announcement uh, comes as the world watches the U.S. elections, almost as if uh, the global eye turns to Washington. Uh, is, is Israel perhaps being uh, slightly opportunistic with its timing here? You know, Israel could be seen as being opportunistic, but in fact, it's done this in normal times as well. Don't forget last year when Biden, Vice President Biden was here in Jerusalem, Israel also announced the building of a thousand new housing units. It doesn't matter. The point is that this is non-news. I mean, it's true the international community opposes Israeli policies, but it won't do anything to sanction Israel, and Israel knows it. And it knows that whether Obama's elected or Romney's elected, its trump card is the American Congress, support that Israel has from both political parties, and it doesn't care anymore. It'll do this in the light of day. Israel has eliminated the two-state solution, as it's called. It's completely imprisoned the Palestinians, and no one in the world is going to speak up against it. So but you talk, it you talk, you talk about a thousand new homes. I'm sorry, sorry to jump the in, but you, you talk about Israel a thousand, wins. a thousand new homes being constructed. That is no small project indeed. After yes. the election, whether it's Romney or Obama in the White House, do you, would you expect the White House to to make any note about this, to, to make any statement about a thousand new homes being built in occupied territory? No, on the contrary. I think that uh, the administration will always say we're against it because that's what they have to say. It's pro forma. But in fact, when, when Biden was here, and I bring this up because it was in his face, Biden is the pro-Israel spokesperson in the Obama administration. He was here. Israel announced the building of a thousand new housing units in the West Bank, completely humiliating Biden. Why? because it wanted to show Obama who's calling the shots. Because in the wake of that, there was a fight between Obama and Netanyahu that was very public. And Congress, both houses of Congress, the Senate and the House, issued statements, a sense of Congress resolution, telling Obama, you lay off Netanyahu. In other words, when there's a fight between an American president and an Israeli prime minister, Congress supports the Israeli prime minister against its own president. In fact, the Democrats support Netanyahu against their own Democratic president. Well, indeed, there, there so are many Israel that say that the, 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 Jewish lobby, the, the Jewish lobby in do Washington in does dictate a lot of what happens from behind the scenes. Uh, Jeff Halper, I wish we had more time for this, but regrettably, we really don't. Uh, head of the Israeli Committee Against House Demolition. Don't forget thank you. the Christian fundamentalists. And thank you for that as well. Thanks for coming on RT today. Thank you.